What's going on everybody? Bones here with Cajun Our New Barbecue. Hope you're doing fine. Y'all know I'm making it. If you're new to the channel, please consider liking, subscribing, so you don't miss any future videos. Now, today, it's all about the Only Fire Charcoal Basket. Been running it a couple months. Gotta say, I love it. Let's talk about this real quick. Currently on Amazon, it's $62.99. Versus its competitor, which is about a hundred dollars. Let's talk about it. It's 20 inches long, four and a half inches tall. The water well back here is 1.1 inches deep. Its competitor puts the water well up front, which will be probably, I guess, about 20 inches long. They put their water well behind the charcoal which gives you a whole lot more water capacity to put in there. I like that. Today, we're gonna do up some rotisserie rib. We're gonna put this thing to the test with those ribs. Stick around, we're gonna get right to it. Go ahead, pour in your water into the trough. There we go. Start your, your lighters. We're not going to go ahead and trim off the rib tips. We are, however, going to try to get this back membrane off. Get you a knife, get up underneath that membrane. It's best to do it about midway into it. Get you a napkin. And just pull. Sometimes you get the whole thing. Sometimes it comes in sections. Just the look of the draw. There we go. Now, there's a guy on YouTube, it's yelling at people for always using binders. So, we're not going to use a binder today. Today we're using Meat Church's Holy Voodoo. We're going to see how well this rub sticks without a binder today. Tell you what, it's already not sticking as well as I would as I'd like when I always have a binder on this bottom side. Feed it through a couple down there. Feed it back through. Come on. You know you like it. There we go. All right, we're ready to go on to the spit now. Once the fire comes up to temp, we'll get it on the smoker. All right. Let's feed this in there. Move that meat.
Let's go ahead and take a quick peek at these ribs. Oh yeah. Get a nice good pull back on these ribs. Not too much longer. Look at that beautiful color. Oh yeah, we coming along beautifully. Let's go ahead and check these ribs. Oh yeah, we gonna call this done. And we're done. Let's go ahead and take a look at these ribs real quick. Looking good. They're not the meatiest ribs that I've had. It is what it is, people. Some pigs are meatier than others. Next time I do these rotisserie style, I'm going to do them with a baby back set. Nice, fat, juicy ones. The uh, rub stuck to it nicely, but not as nice as it would with a binder. You know that one guy on there likes to come down on using a binder a lot, but the rib the rub uh, sticks very well when it has a binder to it. Oh yeah, got a nice flavor. Doesn't have that punch from the wood that I also love, but it's not what we're testing it for. We're testing out whether or not the only fire charcoal holder did its job, which it did beautifully. It held that water well nicely, you know, for $65. Or 62, my bad. You know, not bad compared to its competitor, which is 100 bucks. So, I'll take it. If you like what I'm doing, you know what to do. Thank you, and have a good day.